Eleanor Allman, 1910 to 1991. She grew up in Baltimore, Maryland, and was the daughter of a liberal judge. Her family valued justice and the power of words. Eleanor Allman was a very passionate and ambitious person. She had high personal standards and expectations. She had a strong sense of justice and valued respect for clients and their art. She took ownership in her mistakes and admitted when she didn't understand or know enough about the topic. She valued honesty and respect and spoke truthfully and did not sugarcoat her opinions. She was known for her sense of humor and described as fun to work with. Allman, as a student, graduated Phi Beta Kappa from Wesley University in 1930. She studied oil painting in France from 1932 to 1934. She studied brush painting in China from 1934 to 1936, and then studied landscape architecture in the U.S. in 1943. In 1942, in 1953, she worked as a draftsman, a cardiographer, and a technical illustrator. Through 1955 and 1965, she establishes the art therapy program at DC General Hospital, where she develops the Allman Personality Assessment Procedure. The Almond Personality Assessment Procedure, also known as UPAP, is a historical art therapy tool based on a series of experimental directives that consists of four drawings completed in a single session. The UPAP provides multiple ways of viewing the client's psychological state and symbolic expression. Despite its often marginalized and seemingly adequate psychoanalytic roots. The UPAP is contemporary relevance when integrated with rational, somatic, and traumatic informed theory. Some benefits of this, of this assessment includes offering a series of Im images instead of a single drawing, including movement, providing a range of directives, and ensuring shared interpretation. In 1961, she creates and edits the first art therapy journal, Bulletin of Art Therapy, which is now known as the American Journal of Art Therapy. In 1969, she becomes a member of the Ad Hoc Committee to form the American Art Therapy Association. In 1971, she partnered with the psychologist Bernard Levy and established an art therapy master's program at George Washington University. A year later, she becomes the third person to receive the honorary life membership from the AATA. In 1975, Dr. Allman and Penny Doshinger published Art Therapy in Theory Practice. In 1978, she publishes Art Therapy in the United States with Edith Kramer and Hannah Kowat Kowatsky. In 1980, Eleanor Allman and Claire A. Levy edit and publish Art Therapy Viewpoints. On December 11, 1991, Dr. Allman died. According to Claire Levy, Dr. Allman died peacefully in her chair in her apartment. She simply fell asleep after dinner with some friends, though her legend and her contributes to society will still be known. Thank you so much for watching.